Hello, welcome to Random Mouse Reviews. I am Boris Jednowski, and today I am very much your host. Uh, also, very good news for Boris. Today, Boris is official U.S. citizen. See, he has a green card given to him by Mr. Patsy. See, and this is a official green card. This card recognizes Boris, and this confused Boris, but he get back to that. Boris, yet they spell name wrong twice. Twice, how'd they do that? This very seems not like official. Boris Yetnowski as a US citizen for real like. And Boris question how they spell name wrong and think maybe card is fake till he flip card around and right on back. Totally not a fake. With three exclamation points. You're not three exclamation points. It must be the real deal. So Boris, he is US citizen. Very proud. Uh, but uh, Mr. Patsy said he said not talk too much about him, about the border self, because we do bio episode at some point, and I can talk all I want about self then. So, but in honor of being a Russian citizen and a U.S. citizen all in the same day, honestly, uh, Boris wants to review things that are different from uh, Mother Russia to Great U.S. Both countries great, don't be wrong. Very good countries, both of them. To start things off, Boris want to hold, want to talk about the, the first thing that is very much different between the two countries. That is the lumber jockey industry. See, Boris keep very short. I'm sorry, one moment. Why you write stuff on board? Why not just talk to Boris? Alright, no, I promise, I will not talk about self, I save all for, for bio, this is a backstory, so people understand why I give rating. Yes, I know you do that, I watch your show, that's why I write to you. I want to be host. Okay. Sorry, Boris, they write to Boris, they, they do not talk to me, they just write, they say, do not they talk about the lumberjack industry too much, Boris. But anyways, Boris keep it very short. If Boris was lumberjacking in the mother Russia, he actually left favorite axe there. Someday I will be reunited with her. I will bring her here. I miss you. If you are watching Great Axe Lucy, I miss you. But the lumberjack industry in Russia, I give a great a 10 out of 10. Because a lumberjack industry, it make Boris a man he is now. It, uh, it take little boys and it make them big strong men and uh, that is something you cannot find in every industry but the lumberjack industry very much does that so it make it make Boris very strong very smart he is a much better person for being lumberjack so 10 out of 10 for Russian lumberjack but unfortunately the, uh, the American lumberjack industry, I only give a 3 out of 10 because, like, it, it, it does not exist. I look, there are forests everywhere, nobody is cutting them down. Uh, but there is, like, look, right here on wall, this saw, I use saw like this uh, many times, actually. There is saw here, there is saw over there. You, you, I don't know, maybe you can see it. I, if it is very wide shot, you probably see that. But uh, there is saw stuff all over the place. Nobody seems to use it. Is, uh, is there no lumberjack industry here in the USA? Maybe that is it. Maybe Boris built the first lumberjack industry. And that is how he get really rich. American dream he will live indeed. But anyways, for right now, since there are no lumberjacks, I still love the industry, even though it does not exist here, but I still love it. So I give I give little bit of good rating because of my love, but must take away very much points because it does not exist here. So a good 10 for Russia, 3 for America. Just to do little recap, I guess. Oh, it's just getting hot in here. Oh, Boris will have to take off hat. Oh, Theo, I, I apologize in advance. I am sure my hair looks all sorts of crazy. 
I flew in right from work. I still in work clothes. I was cutting it. No, I'm sorry. I say for bio. I'm sorry. I say for bio. But uh, that this this will be second thing, Boris. You know what? No, no, don't touch my hat. Boris, keep hat right here. You not touch lucky hat. Is Boris lucky hat? More on that in bio video, I suppose. But uh, that will be second thing. Boris, rate the temperature in uh, Russia compared to USA. In Russia, it's very cold and harsh climate. Not everywhere. Not all of Russia like that. But in part of Russia where Boris from is very cold and inhospitable. Not many people like it. But Boris, he loves the cold. Look, I was outside in snow. I wear short sleeves. You know why? Because Boris has all this hair to keep him warm. No, no that is not why. Boris does not. Uh, this is because Boris does not have a razor and hair clippers. <laughs> Maybe he get it cut. Maybe not, you know. But uh, Boris loves the cold. Is very good, and so the, the weather in Russia, I give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, they writing again. I'm sorry, I will not rate things 10 if that is the thing on it. I just, no, I do not have a bias for Russia. I love Mother Russia, but not a bias. All right, folks, I'm very sorry. I go back, I change uh, the lumberjacking to 9 out of 10. And uh, the, the I make it the weather 9 out of 10. Is that good? That is okay, I guess. So I give the weather in Russia a 10 out of 10 because I love the cold. But here in America, it's so much warmer. Like uh, you use uh, the, uh, the Fahrenheit the temperatures. Let me think for a moment the comparison, all right? So it is like uh, maybe 15, 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And Boris is like, Hoy, I, I, almost took, I almost took off lucky hat outside. But he's not, he's very much unlucky to enter a building without hat still on. His family tradition. But then in here it's very hot. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe like uh, the 40 or 50 degrees in studio, 60 maybe, I do, I'm not good with your Fahrenheit. But the weather here in US is too hot for Boris. But I suppose maybe I get used to it if I shave up and maybe wear like even shorter sleeves. I will give American weather if, uh, a 6 out of 10. I will be generous because I hear this is a very nice temperature for everyone else, just not very nice for Boris. But uh, that is uh, so to to do once more of the recap. Uh, the Russian I give uh, weather temperature a nine out of ten for America a three out of ten. I know I said six. I wanted to see if you over there with the board would catch it. Did uh, whoever might be watching this video, did you catch that I said three and first I said six? It does not matter. <laughs> Boris just he has sense of humor. But uh, for last thing, for final thing Boris rate, he will rate a vodka. Now you probably think, oh vodka, that is so Russian of him. Oh, so Russian. I, I learned it today. Put quotes around things. <laughs> like uh, the, uh, the one guy here said, Hey, Mr. Potsy, you're an asshole. <laughs> and I was like, oh, asshole. It's uh, funny, I guess. I don't understand it. But I like I like the moving the fingers. It's, we do not do this at home. Usually it is other different hand gestures that I am probably not allowed to show you. But uh, I do not want to insult viewers at home. Anyways, I now talk about the vodka that is so Russian of me. I will give, first I will rate vodka here in America. You will be surprised by this though. I give vodka here in America an 8 out of 10. Now, it would be much higher. Uh, not a lot of room to go up from it, I suppose. But it would be higher, except the vodka in America not quite as good as Russian vodka. 
He's still very good. We had some shots before I did show. Mr. Patsy, he loves his vodka almost as much as Boris. Maybe more, actually. I don't know. I will find out when one of us drinks the other under the table. I will let you know. But the, the vodka here in America, it gets 8 out of 10. And uh, it... <coughs> oh, sorry. Boris, uh, Boris used to work in mine too. Maybe he has black lung. Sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, the vodka here, there is very much variety of vodka. But it is hard to find Boris's favorite brand in America. It's not imported. Uh, only bottle I have is one that I bring to share with Mr. Patsy. He promised me we will find more because it was very strong. In his words, let me let me think how he say, "Da shit knock me on my ass." That is the way he said it. It must be good, I suppose. If it, he did not fall over, I not entirely understand what he mean. But the uh, vodka in U.S. only eight because that but my brand, my brand does not exist here. Now vodka in uh, Russia, I am not allowed to rate ten, but I give it a nine out of ten as well because vodka in Russia is favorite brand is everybody knows where to get the good of stuff uh, you know you not need to worry about importing and there's no extra tax and is is good good vodka everywhere world's finest vodka come from Russia much the same way that uh, you know other countries have the the drinks that they do the best, the, to stereotype some more, I suppose. A vodka is also Russian. I am going to keep doing this, I am sorry. Uh, but the, so the, the, the final of the recaps is a vodka in uh, Russia, 9 out of 10. A vodka in America is uh, 8 out of 10. But uh, you know what, I think that is all Boris has. He was now going to uh, walk away and enjoy some more of that 8 out of 10 vodka with uh, Mr. Patsy. I think he maybe had shot ready for Boris. Uh, you folks, I hope you enjoy Boris's episode. I hope you enjoy the fact that uh, maybe someday Boris be your neighbor. He now has green card, like I said. Um, Oh wait, Boris remember something very important. Mr. Patsy, he said, uh, Empty the studios, uh, we got you. Oh, the, oh wait, hold, I point? Alright, Empty the studios, we got you. Was that good?